I've shown this Google Sheet with future launches in the past before, and I want to explore using the default Google Workspace Jira for Google Sheets add-on. So I'm going to try to import all my Jira issues from this project, my Pet Pulse project. There's like 40 something issues here into this Google Sheet. I'm going to create a new sheet called Jira Import. And then I'm going to go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, type in Jira. And the first option, this is created by Lassian, so it seems like the right one to use. Install, continue, just authorize Jira to talk to your Google account. All right, next, done. All right, now I can go to extensions, Jira Cloud for Sheets, open. It should open a right sidebar here, and it says connect your site to get started. Now it's gonna go through the Atlassian authorization flow. I'm gonna choose my workspace here, accept. And now I can get issues from Jira. I'm gonna do a basic import for now. I can see all my projects here. I'm gonna pick my Pet Pulse project. And then I'm gonna do all the different issue types. And then also all the statuses. And this is the most basic import, 500, 5,000 issues. You can also do some more filtering here, order by, hit get issues now, and let's wait to see what imports from my Jira. So I have my all of my 45 issues from my Jira project, which looks great. Some other options you can have in this add-on include the using, you can use GQL, you can use the filter. I think the most basic one is good enough for most folks. And then you can also import specific fields from your Jira project. And then also what I think is interesting is scheduling an automatic refresh. So I think you have to do some authorizations here. I'm just gonna try this out to see what happens. So you can refresh hourly, daily, weekly. So just a typical cron job here. And another thing that's interesting is you can also have the Jira function be used within Google Sheets. So for instance, I can go into a new sheet and I can say equals Jira, project equals pet pulse, and created rate is greater than or equal to the last 90 days. And now with this Jira function, you can do some basic, it's like writing Google Sheets functions, except you're in Jira, except you're writing um, a custom Jira function. And you can also pull back just specific columns. Let's say I want the issue order priority and status to so only give me those columns properties from my Jira issues. So I'm not sure what the use case is for using this Jira function. I think it might be if you want to substitute these values with formulas within your Google Sheet, which could be interesting. But I think what's more interesting is actually setting up a pivot table and I can now go to my Jira import table and select all this data and then go to insert pivot table existing sheet i should say new sheet create this one so now i have my jira pivot table and i can let's say put my status in the rows i want to put the, let's say the reporter scroll down here reporter will be in the columns issue key will be the values and now you can get some basic stats about your entire Jira project inside a pivot, pivot table. This is only a one-way sync as well. So if I delete or I want to edit this data, it won't edit back in Jira. This just replaces whatever data is imported from Jira. So this is all hard-coded data. So if you accidentally delete a bunch of stuff, let's say I delete all these rows here, your Jira pivot table will obviously get messed up because this is reporting off of that table. And if you rerun the sync, then it would just replace whatever data is in here in the current worksheet. So now my Jira pivot table is back to updated. I think what's interesting also is you can kind of add annotation columns. Let's say I want to do something like default sprint, and this could be like marketing priority. These columns, I would actually color perhaps a different color to indicate these are calculated columns so this could be equals sprint if this sprint equals sprint a then 
sprint A, otherwise sprint B. Very basic formula. So since there's nothing in this sprint column, this defaults to sprint B, but the minute there is a sprint A, it defaults to sprint A. And I can change my pivot table now to pick up that data. And let's see, I'm gonna actually change this to be from A to STU. And so now I have this sprint. Oh, there we go, default sprint. I can drag this into the rows. And now I can see this new column of data in my new property in my pivot table. If I, let's say, refresh this data, it's not going to delete my columns T and U. It will just refresh uh, columns A through S. Let's test that out. Whoops. Yep. So it only replaces everything in columns A through S and your annotation columns, your, your kind of like formulaic columns, calculated columns, those will stay intact so that your pivot tables or any reporting you've built off of that sheet stay intact. And another interesting thing about Google Sheets is I would actually default turning this into the new table feature. So if I go to format and then come to table, this gives you kind of like an interesting table format for all of your rows of data. But more, more importantly is I can rename this to be called Jira Issues. And now this table is called Jira Issues. I can build views off of this table, but I can also reference this table in a formula. So if I, instead of having to write equals this whole thing like that, where I have the reference of A2 to E10, I can now write equals Jira Issues, the name of the table. Let's say I want to get the whole, all the keys from my table. I have to, you have to put up array formula before this. And this gives you all the keys from your 45 keys here, 45 issues here. So anytime you have, this is more of a Google Sheets thing, but anytime you have raw data, I would always default to converting it into a table. So you can do more interesting things like creating a filtered view and all that kind of stuff. The question remains, should you use this Google Sheets add-on. So I'm not too sure. I think there's some mixed reviews in terms of what I see on the different marketplaces. So according to the Atlassian marketplace, the version, there's only one version of this and it's been, it's, it was released in August, 2022. So it's been a couple of years since it's been updated. So I'm not sure about that. There's only like a couple of reviews here in the Atlassian marketplace, but in the Google Marketplace. Way more reviews. It says the listing was updated June 23rd, 2023. I'm not sure if this, if the actual add-on, the code itself was updated 2023. But if you look at some of the reviews, sort of probably most helpful, you have some mixed reviews where before, also before it stopped working, had broken one of our sheets with formulas. It was supposed to import a data from a specific project, but for some reason ended up with importing some random data. So it seems kind of flaky at best. Extension is not working. Same issue as others stopped working. But then you have other people saying that it's useful working again. So I think that, I think, let's sort by most recent. Yeah, this person had a great experience, no longer loads, not working. Now we're going back more than a year, unable, getting some issues, getting some issues stop working, you can no longer read from Jira. So I think it has mixed reviews, obviously. So I think the takeaway is that maybe don't rely on this sync for super business critical workflows or reporting. Maybe for things that are one off, maybe that's something that needs to be updated every month, perhaps at the most kind of longest cadence, this might be interesting for you to use. But just based on the reviews in the Google Workspace marketplace, it doesn't seem super reliable from the reviews here.